historical value. I was never a fan of the dictator Adolf Hitler, and after all the atrocities he caused, it would be very difficult to find a person who is. But if there is one thing that I find interesting about the Nazi leader, it would have to be his love for the arts. During his regime, he sequestered paintings of great artists, including the works of the Austrian painter Gustav Klimt. After the downfall of the Nazis, the Austrian government retrieved some of the works of Klimt and put them in different museums in Vienna. And that was the reason I got surprised to see the paintings Adele Blackbauer II and Adele Blackbauer I, also known as The Woman in Gold, inside the Neue Gallery in New York City. My search for answers led me to discovering more about the complicated history of the two paintings. Adele Blackbauer was the subject of a number of Klimt's paintings. She was believed to be a part of one of the wealthiest Jewish families in Austria. During the war, most of their belongings were taken by the Nazis, including the portraits. After the war, the paintings were under the care of the Austrian government until the niece of Adele Blackbauer, who during that time was living in California, decided to claim the portraits. This became a national and international sensation. The legal battle between Adele's niece and the Austrian government even inspired a Hollywood film entitled Woman in Gold, with Ryan Reynolds and Helen Mirren as the main casts. In the end, the paintings were returned to the rightful owner, and so the portraits traveled across the Atlantic Ocean, from Europe to America. But the question is, how did the paintings end up in the Neue Gallery? The answer is even more perplexing. Adele Blackbauer's niece sold the paintings. The first one, Adele Blackbauer I, also known as The Woman in Gold, was sold in a private transaction. The second one was sold in an auction, which reached an insane amount of a little less than $88 million. Both of the portraits were bought by the same collector, who happens to be Jewish himself. The portraits of Adele Blackbauer are good ones, but surely they will definitely strike pale compared to the works of Leonardo from the Renaissance, or even to the works of Rembrandt from the Baroque period. But it was reported that the collector spent that huge amount of money for the Adele portraits not because of aesthetics, nor because of possible economic gains, but ultimately because of the history behind the paintings, the history of the struggles and victories of the Jewish people during the war. <laughs>